This is one of the biggest problems that's facing humanity right now. And on the surface, it looks like it's supposed to be something good and helpful for companies and things like that. But it's actually just hurting society, hurting humans as a whole. And uh, it's being used as a way to change the world for the worse. But before I get into it, if you like, like, comment, subscribe, share where you can. Check out the description for links and ways that you can support me. I have a Patreon and I would greatly appreciate it if you guys uh, donate it. You don't have to. It's not mandatory. But anyways, without further ado, I'm going to get into it. So before I get too much into this topic, I am going to read some definitions for what ESG is so that you guys can get an understanding. Now, I'm still learning about it myself, but I'm hearing it talked about in different venues of life and different companies and different, uh, I don't know, media. It's all over the place, right? Any, any company pretty much that wants to get loans from other companies, they have to have a good ESG score and all this other stuff. It's, it's a convoluted, complicated mess, but I'm going to try to explain it as best as I can. And then I'm going to talk about how it's being used for evil purposes. So uh, first, I'm going to read the definition. And ESG is environment, social, and governance. And it's, it stands for environmental, social, and governance. These are called pillars in ESG frameworks and represent the three main topic areas that companies are expected to report in. The goal of ESG is to capture all the non-financial risks and opportunities inherent to a company's day-to-day -day activities and in the e it's environmental right so it, they say how the company and its policies cope with the issues which are examples carbon emissions use of natural resources waste management deforestation social how the company and its policies look after society and community and confront social issues examples are workforce health and safety human rights, data security, employee training, and diversity. Oh, God, I hate that word. And then governance, how the company and its policies confront governance issues. Examples are board independence and diversity again, shareholder rights, compensation policies. Okay, so now that I gave you guys the definition of it and what it stands for, I'm going to talk about how it's being used for evil purposes and how it's destroying society. OK, so on, again, I'm going to reiterate on the surface, those all those things sound like good things, right? They sound like why wouldn't companies want to do these things? The problem is that, first of all, you have to understand who's running the world. You have to understand who has all the money. You have to understand who's giving out these scores. And you have to understand their true intent and purposes behind these supposed good things. And I'm going to I've said this in other videos, but I'm going to say in this video, the greatest evil hides behind good or pretends to be good. And that's how they get you to do evil shit, because they know most people are actually good natured. But the way they get humans to fall for all this bullshit and evil shit is by pretending that they're doing something good. For humanity so they basically feed you a bunch of lies and pretend that they're your best friend they're your ally they're trying to do something good for you but in reality they're just hurting you and destroying you and, and destroying everyone basically hurting everyone but because people have been fooled it's kind of like the bible right you know how in the bible god does a lot of evil things but then he says i <laughs> i'm god i'm good you got to listen to me. That's how this is. It's basically the same concept, right? It's like they're telling they're telling you that they're good, but the things that they're that they're doing are actually evil. And because people don't don't have enough, I guess, mental capacity or intelligence or whatever to see through the bullshit, they believe whatever they're told. So again, on the surface, you know, protecting the environment and, and diversity and all these other things that people believe in seem like good things. But then when you see it in practice and you see what they're actually doing, they're actually not doing what they're saying. There's more racism. There's more destruction of society in, in the way that we know it, the way it's it's been right. The traditional nuclear family and things like that. They're introducing all this 
other stuff from other communities and, and basically just you guys know what I'm talking about, the alphabet community, right? And, and things like that to basically convolute the world and make you accept this. And if you don't accept it, then you're a bad person, right? You're the bad guy because you don't want to accept something that's wrong. So these companies, they try to meet certain, I guess, ESG scores. They're, they're, they're trying to build up their ESG score and uh, fill out all these quotas or whatever so that they can get more money from uh, corporations like Vanguard and BlackRock, right? And you got to think about this. Who's controlling those corporations and those companies, right? And I'm going to say this again because I've said this many times, but people don't seem to know this. The world is controlled by evil demons. The humans that you see that are in, in charge of these companies, they're basically just puppets for these evil ones. So when you see these companies all doing the same shit, they're all trying to, you know, get their ESG score up. And it's always the same agenda. It's always the same basic standards and guidelines, right? Oh, we need more LGBTQ. We need more black people. We need more whatever, right? And I'm not saying that these things are necessarily bad. It's just that this, this is not how society should operate. We already had a structure in place, you know, before the year 2000, where if you were the best person for the job, you would get the job. And a lot of these other things that they're talking about, like uh, greenhouse effects and deforestation and yada, yada, yada. They're trying to make it seem like, oh, there's global warming. There's this, that, and the other climate change, blah, blah, blah. Right. They're trying to scare humans into believing things that aren't actually happening. But because humans don't know the science and they don't understand what's going on, they think that what these companies are doing and what they're saying is the truth. They don't know any better. So the people that know, know, right? You're not going to fool the people that actually know what's going on. And I, I believe a lot of my viewers know exactly what's going on. But again, the ones that control the world are evil and their agenda isn't necessarily lining up with the way normal people are. So a lot of people see, well, these companies are trying to get their ESG score up and they're hiring more woke people and blah, blah, blah. The reason why that's happening is because the evil ones that control the world that are telling the demons, right? They're telling humans that are running these companies, this is what we want. We want this. Why do they want these things? Because these things hurt humans. So they're like, we, you need to do these things, but tell these people that it's good. So they're telling humans, hey, this is a good thing. Diversity is a good thing. Uh, this is a good thing. That's a good thing. They're telling all these things that these companies are doing that are supposedly good. And honestly, the main thing is diversity. That seems to be the biggest thing that they're focused on. It's like, and diversity just means if you're a normal person, they don't like you. That's what diversity means, basically. But long story short, they're trying to hire people based off of what these demons want and these demons they're not human they don't care about humans they want to see humanity suffer and die and be destroyed and and all this other stuff right so they have guidelines set up for these companies that they have to do these things or else these companies companies are not going to get money from vanguard or blackrock or whatever right and this is just my basic understanding of it i'm not going to sit here and pretend that I'm an expert in this. But what I am going to say is that where are these companies getting all their money, right? You guys have to understand these companies have infinite money. So I hear a lot of people saying, oh, well, if they keep hiring these people and they destroy the companies, then the companies are going to stop hiring them and they're going to fire them. No, they're not. Because the ones that control the world, they control the money. So they can keep doing this shit for eternity until humans convert themselves into being this way. So look at what they're saying, right? They want people to be diverse or LGBTQ or whatever. So they're like, if you don't, if you're not one of these groups, we don't want to hire you. So what does that tell you? That they're trying to convert people to be that way. It's that simple, right? If you're not 
this way, then they don't want you. I can think of one company, right? Blizzard. It's a video game company. And um, I play their games or whatever. I play World of Warcraft. And I swear to God, every time I see one of their employees talk, they're either gay. They're, they belong to LGBTQ. Let's just put it that way. And I, I, I swear I haven't seen a straight person that works for that company. I've never, and I'm, I'm talking about, I've seen, every time one of them talks, there's not a straight person that works for that company. W why? And if there is, I don't know them. I haven't seen them. But they're so focused on hiring these people. And then you know what's happening? These people, because they're so diverse, right? They're trying to put their politics and their ideals into the games. And it's ruining the games. And then the people like me that play the games that don't like this shit. We get stuck with a shitty game. And then they do that to all the games. They do that to everything. And this, this isn't just about games. They're doing it in movies. They're doing it everywhere. They do it in Disney. They do it in Marvel, whatever. They do it all over the place, right? They're inserting their agendas into whatever they touch. And that's because the evil demons. So I'm, I'm going to show you the ladder, right? Let's start at the top. You have the evil demons that control the world that are telling these companies like Vanguard and BlackRock, hey, you got to make society a certain way. And we want them to be, we want humans to be like this because naturally humans are male and female, right? And that's the way it's supposed to be. But we want them to be part of this community, the rainbow community, right? So convert as many of them as you can to be this way because we're evil and we want them to be this way. So let's just, you know, enforce these policies that cause people to either accept this or you're going to be looked down upon as if something is wrong with you, even though you're normal. And why are they doing that? Because that causes strife, that causes problems, that causes anxiety, that causes stress. It, it causes all types of issues for humans that are normal that don't like that shit. But they're throwing it in your face all the time, right? But anyways, the demons are telling these companies to do that. So then the companies are like, well, if you want to get our money, like BlackRock and Vanguard, if you want our money, guess what you got to do? You got to meet these quotas. You got to meet the ESG score. You got you to gotta make your ESG score go up. So you got to fill all these uh, different categories here. And if you're not doing this shit, then you're not going to get our money. So then the companies, they're like, well, fuck. If we want the money from these people, we got to enforce these rules and, and uh, stipulations on everybody. So then they start doing that. But all that's doing is just hurting society. All it's doing is causing normal people to suffer and to not like the way the world is. And that's the goal of the demons. Why? Because the demons eat the negative energy. They love seeing humans suffer. And that's the problem. Most people don't see what I'm talking about. They think, oh, it's just a bunch of humans doing crazy shit. Okay, if you want to just go by that, fine. Let's just say it's just humans. There's no demons. There's no aliens, right? Let's just say humans are at the top doing this shit. Regardless of how you want to look at it, society is clearly suffering. Society is clearly being hurt. And people don't like this shit. If they liked it, then people wouldn't be complaining about it all the time. People wouldn't be against it, right? And it's mostly left leftist shit, right? It's mostly left-wing politics or whatever you want to call it. Woke politics, whatever. Call it whatever you want. But it's just not the way humans are supposed to be. That's all I'm saying. So these companies are promoting this shit. And it's causing humans to have a hard time just being in society because it's everywhere. Like even for me, right? Like I said, I'm playing a game. I can't play a game anymore because this woke shit is everywhere in the game. I go to, If I want to go watch a movie, I got to see all this woke shit in a movie. If I want to watch a show, it's on a show. If I want to watch the news, it's on the news. If I, if I want to talk to people online, they're talking about it. It's all over the place. There are, there are people consistently talking about it and saying how they don't like it because it's everywhere. You can't get away from this shit. And that's the way the demons want the world to be. So they, they're making everybody do this shit.
they're they're forcing society to accept things that are not that are not normal or natural and a lot of humans don't know that this is happening they think oh well these companies just want to make money okay but here's the problem with that if people are rejecting this shit they're rejecting woke ideology then how are they making money because people aren't buying their products and people are saying no to it consistently it's been going on for a long time now where people are just like we don't want this shit we don't want this shit we don't want this shit and these companies keep doing it and 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 think about it this way why aren't these companies running out of money they're not people are boycotting them people are you know not accepting their ways not accepting their products they're firing people left and right they're downsizing right firing uh, uh, they have to fire these people because nobody wants uh to work with them because they're not doing any service to the company they're not helping the company grow so the companies are like we got to get rid of these people they're not helping us they're just losing money with these people yet it keeps happening don't you guys see what's going on here this shit is still going on these companies are still woke they're still pushing their ideology they still exist they still have money where are they getting this infinite money from because the ones that control everything give them the infinite money. They can keep making money forever. They control the whole entire world. So if they're like, we want this company to do this, we want this company to do that, all they want, they don't really care about money. People don't understand that. They think these companies are trying to make money. That's not their number one goal, believe it or not. The truth is they're trying to convert society to be a way that they've never been. In other words, they're trying to change humans into abominations into things that they never were before. We were a certain way, male and female. Now they want us to be a certain other way. And you guys know what that way is. That's their main focus because that's the biggest uh, destruction of humanity that there can be, the biggest desecration, which will cause the most evil and strife in the world, which will feed them. That's what they're trying to do with this shit. So this ESG score crap, that's what it's all about. It's not about hiring the best people for the job. It's not about protecting the environment. It's not about any of that shit. That's just a front that they're using to push their agenda. And the smart people can see through it. But anyways, I think I said enough. I think you guys get the point. And again, I'm not going to tell you that I'm an expert on this shit. I'm still learning about it. And I'm probably going to talk about it more in the future when I understand it better. But it's something that I keep seeing coming up. In like every video that I watch, different people talking about stuff, they keep saying ESG, ESG, ESG. And I'm like, what is this? Why is this so important? And again, I, I see like the, the end result of what they're trying to do. Now I'm trying to put all the pieces together and make it make sense. And the more I learn about it, the more I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to expose more shit about it. But anyways, if you like, like, comment, subscribe, share where you can. Hit the notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.